Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his ja Japanese counterpart Shigeru Ishiba have visited the Tokyo Electron Miyagi Limited, a leading Japanese company in the semiconductor sector. He has been briefed about Telsa's role in the global semiconductor value chain, its advanced manufacturing capabilities and its ongoing and planned collaborations with India. The facility gave the leaders a practical understanding of the opportunities that exist between the countries to forge collaboration in the field of semiconductor supply chain, fabrication and testing. Joining me on the telecast is Aditya. Aditya, take us through the details that are coming in now that the uh, Prime Minister has visited this facility. What exactly does this mean uh, after he's visited this Electron Limited facility in Sendai? All right, I think my colleague is facing some audio issues. We'll get him back. But viewers, those are the visuals that you can see on your screens. Now, Prime Minister Naren Modi and his Japanese counterpart, Shigeru Ishiba, have visited the Tokyo Electron Miyagi Limited, which is the leading Japanese company in the semiconductor sector. You can see in those visuals, Prime Minister Modi is at that facility uh, with his Japanese counterpart as well. That's the picture with all of the people over there joining me on the telecast is back again my colleague uh, Aditya what is exactly what exactly does this mean now the fact that Prime Minister Modi has visited this uh, Electron Miyagi limited uh, facility which is a Japanese company in the semiconductor uh, sector well definitely uh, yeah, to see you know this will definitely boost uh, the semiconductor partnership between India and Japan and at this juncture uh, we can expect a robust partnership uh, between uh, India and Japan in the times to come because you know Japan has also uh, you know decided to now set up uh, these all these semiconductor production units in and around India you know to, so as uh, which will uh, be a catalyst for India to become self-reliant as far as semiconductor is concerned you know so that we know how important are the semiconductor chips you know all the phone lithium-ion batteries uh, you know uh, the semiconductor chips are used so essentially uh, it is it is very very uh, essential that uh, semiconductor uh, yeah, the India becomes self-reliant in uh, semiconductor and this visit by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Japan will definitely further this process uh, they, they will they will definitely be an enhancement as far as this uh, uh, semiconductor production is concerned for quite some time we have been seeing that India is making strides uh, you know to t to develop to become a uh, a wish for guru in the domain of semiconductor, you know, uh, this will uh, decrease our dependence on countries uh, uh, like 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 China and other sem semiconductor giants like Taiwan. You know, India has been exporting for quite some time from these countries uh, the semiconductor chips. Uh, once, if you know, uh, is, if uh, this visit by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Japan is essential because you know this will pave a way uh, for India to become self-reliant in semiconductor, and that in the times to come we can expect. Uh, uh, some major employment also in this domain, you know, because Japan is considering to set up their product, uh, semiconductor production units in India. Yes, Ria. All right, Aditya, stay on with us. We have more updates coming in. Japanese Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba is hosting a grand lunch for Prime Minister Modi in Sendai. The lunch is being attended by the Miyagi Prefecture Governor Murai, JR East Chairman. Fukuzawa, Tokyo Electron President Kawai and the Tohoku University President. Shortly from now, PM Modi will be departing for the much-awaited visit to China for the SEO summit as well. Aditya, take us through yeah. the details that are coming in in terms of uh, this grand lunch that, ha uh, that Japanese Prime Minister has uh, hosted for Prime Minister Modi. Absolutely, you know, this is indeed a very ceremonial and a uh, ceremonial gesture that the uh, you know Japanese uh, Prime Minister Ishida is giving to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and it is very customary you know whenever whenever a big foreign dignitary like Prime Minister or President visits uh, the other country you know this is as per the standard operating procedure that a, a royal uh, banquet and a uh, breakfast on a dinner is arranged for that uh, particular leader so you know it is a moment of pride for all the Indians that uh, you know such honor is being given by uh, to Prime Minister Narendra Modi by the Japanese side. Yes, Ria. All right, Aditya, thank you so much for joining us on the telecast and sharing those details.